so today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me I'm not doing anything really I'm just filming and I wanted to show you just get do it to chat get ready with me so it's not gonna be with voiceover because I feel like it's a bit less personal and honestly I don't really like watching voiceover get ready with me videos I rather like talk through either tutorials or get ready with me so I thought I'm gonna do it because that's how I like to watch them so why not make something that I like <laughs> anyways um as you can probably tell as well my face is light compared to my body I finally bought the Saint Tropez bronzing mousse I've been meaning to buy this for the past three years four years um, ever since I started started watching YouTube so four years um, and I finally bought one so I'm really happy actually I've I started watching YouTube five years ago because this summer it's my fourth year anniversary of my YouTube channel but anyways okay so anyways I bought this and I'm really happy with the result my little kitty wanted to get in my room <gasps> baby mm. come on hi come on baby come on hi oh hi oh you look so cute so I you know have a, a tanner body I needed a darker foundation so the one that I got because okay I've been watching a lot of Lauren Curtis recently I've always watched her but recently I've been like watching some old videos I like I always get through phases with youtubers sometimes it, it's Judy Thumb sometimes it's Jacqueline Hale Essie Bunn now it's Lauren Curtis so yeah so I've been really really liking her and um, yeah she raves about this foundation this is the L'Oreal true match and um, and she also it's kind of because of her that I got the Saint Tropez mousse. She uses the darker one. I wanted to buy this. I got it in the shade W3. She uses W4. But in I guess in America the the shades are different. So her W4 is not the same as we have in this like here Canada or the states. So I'm not sure why. But anyways, so I got W3 because I'm not as dark as her because she uses the darker uh, mousse. So I got W3. I really didn't know. So anyways, it's going to be my second time wearing this foundation. If I see that it's too yellow for my skin, I'll exchange it. I bought it at Walmart, so you can actually return at Walmart. Cut open cosmetics. Okay, so I will start. I'll be using my strobe cream from MAC with my Sigma F86 brush, which I just received that and I really, really like it. Okay, so I'm going to be applying this all over. This is just like a very great... Um, illuminizer basically it's a it's a it's a moisturizer but um, I moisturize before anyways so this is perfect for those of you who like that glowy look but don't want any shimmers and just want like a, a natural glowy look <laughs> okay now and also sorry my lipstick my Kelly Yum Yum lipstick stained my lips I wore it last night and then this morning I woke up and my lipstick was like perfect. It was kind of funny, but anyways, yeah, I went out last night and I didn't remove my makeup at night because yeah. Okay, the only thing I don't like about it is there is no pump, so it's actually a little inconvenient. It seemed to be like to match me pretty well yesterday, so we'll see today. But this has an SPF of 17, and last night when I went out, if you follow me on Instagram, then you you saw pictures, but um yeah it definitely gave me a white cast with the flat the finish of this foundation is absolutely amazing like honestly um usually i prefer to buy more expensive foundations um i usually don't really buy them from the drugstore i used to but not anymore i've never had such smooth looking skin and it's not thick as well i don't feel it on my skin i'm used to like tinted moisturizers or um, bb creams and stuff but this you don't feel it on your skin okay now i'm gonna go in with my concealer i'm using the nars radiant creamy concealer in light vanilla um i haven't changed that but yeah because i could never do like a, a highlight underneath my eyes because I was so light that it didn't make any difference like I couldn't go too light underneath my eyes because I would have looked really really strange but now I can because my concealer is a lot darker than my skin actually like before my concealer was just like the same color as my skin and um
And now I'm just going to go in with the same brush, so F86. I'm going to blend the bigger part with this brush. I'm not going to touch the inner corner too much. Because I'm going to be using another brush for that. And then I'm going to be taking the P88, so Precision 88. I love this brush. It blends the concealer really well. Really, really, really like this brush. It blends out the concealer even better than with your fingers. Which is awesome because I prefer to use a brush over my hands. But yeah, this brush is amazing. It's really, really nice. And now I'm going to be using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. And I'm just going to like set the under eye area. And the brush I'm using is a Sonia Kashuk number 29. And then I'm just going to set around my mouth because I usually get those like smiling lines here. But then the rest of the face doesn't really need... Um, I don't really need to set it because it doesn't look like it's going anywhere, so I won't set it. Okay, now I'm going to be taking my Madly Blush from NARS, which looks like this. And then I'm going to be using this Sigma F30 brush. And I'm just going to take like the, the side of the brush, just go like this. And then just like go like this. So it kind of creates like a contour, but not really. Okay, now for blush, I'm going to be using this, um, it's from the Osborne collection from MAC, so it's the Kelly blush in Cheeky Bugger, and I'm going to be using my F40 brush from Sigma, which is my favorite blush brush, so just tap that, and I haven't tried this with this skin tone yet, so we will see how it looks. Taking the um, Sonia Kashuk brush again, I'm just gonna blend. But the it looks way more intense on camera, actually. Okay, and then we're gonna be using we're gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be using this cream color base from Mac and Shell, which this was a little too dark for me when I was just pale. So we will see how it's gonna look. And then I'm going to be taking the Sonia Kashi brush in number 129. It's just like a, a dual fiber brush. Yeah. So it's great for creamy products. Okay, so I'm going to apply some on my chin. And this is a very nice color. It's very like bronzy. Perfect for summer actually. Top of my lip. And then my cheekbone. And this is like very glowy, which I really like. And I really like, like to apply with this brush because it doesn't like put on too much. Since it's a cream, you just want to you know, go lightly. And it, it works well over powder as well, which I like. So it gives a beautiful glow to the skin. I really like it. Yeah, it looks a lot nicer when uh, when I'm not super pale. Okay, now I'll do the eyes. I'm going to be using the E40 from Sigma with... Um, I'm going to go with Naked from, from Urban Decay. This isn't a naked one. 
I'm just gonna apply this on my crease like this so not too much precision it's just to have like something in my crease just have like a little bit of definition Now I'm going to curl my lashes with my Shiseido Eyelash Curler using the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara. So I bought this yesterday as well and I tried it yesterday and I really really like it. The only thing that I don't really like is as you can tell like the wand is very flexible which makes the application kind of hard but it's not that big of a deal. It almost feels like it's bouncing. So I'll just let that dry, and then I'll come back for a second layer. Okay, so to cover up the pink on my lips, I'll have to do something very, like, um, opaque. And so I decided to use Strip Poker from the Osborne collection as well. Um, when I was my natural color, and I was using this, I really needed a lip liner. So we'll see how it looks. It's fun to see how lip cutters, lip colors look different when you're a different skin tone. It's actually quite nice. And I feel like everything looks better when I'm tan. Yeah, it looks a lot more pink. Um, which is nice. I like it. It's, it's very nude though, but I kind of like it. Okay. And it makes my teeth look so white. Like... And that lipstick is really creamy, even though it's MAC. Let me add just a little lip liner. This is Hip and Happy from MAC. It's a pink. Just added a little bit of pink. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom you in again, and I'm going to finish off the mascara. So, I will curl my lashes again. I think I'm really going to like this mascara. It really makes my lashes look very nice it really opens up my eyes um in the past few months i haven't been wearing mascara on my bottom lashes and i just like it better i don't know why maybe i'll go back and wear some but recently i've been just liking only on my top lashes like this i guess i could try <laughs> bottom lashes okay since it's supposed to be like the manga eyes Yeah, it's nice. Now I'll just remove what's on my top lid. I'll add this actually on my lips. This is the Dior Fluid Stick in 3, 389 Kiss Me. Just a little bit. This is a very nice consistency. Okay, so I'll try to give you a close-up of the makeup. So it's very, very simple, just like glowing skin and then a nude lip and mascara. And I really like it. For my, my hair, I just did like a kind of a sock bun, but it's it's very messy. So. so anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. All the products that I use will be listed down below. And, and also make sure to thumbs up if you enjoy the video. And if you want me to do more chit chat, get ready with me type of videos because I really enjoy watching them, so um, I hope you like watching them as well. So anyways, I really hope you enjoy. Um, also, make sure to subscribe for more videos. And yeah, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.